in this particular session we will continue with our another tool that you can use for your static analysis so let's go with that tool here just go with your browser search here for andro bug just go with the first link you get here from the github all right so just copy this link or if you want you can go with the zip file as well i'll copy this link open my terminal and simply go with the command git clone and paste the link here to download androbug framework androbug framework was mainly used for your static source code analysis part it will also analyze your android application for some web application attacks as well let's say like your XSL was there your sql injections were there some common vulnerability for your sql database versions as well so for that part you can use your androbug framework here so we got the androbug framework just move inside that folder here you will get a python file from androbug.py just execute this file with python androbug.py and hit enter this will give you the help page here or if you want you can go with the help with the hyphen h as well and you will get a list of all the commands that you can use for the simplicity i am going to use the direct commands this time go with hyphen f and I'll go to my application and all the applications were located inside my desktop folder. So let's say again, I'll go with the divabit application, just minimize this one and go with the complete path here like slash home slash pen testers, then go with the desktop folder. And here we got our application folder. And this time we got our divabit application. If you want, you can specify your build number here as well for your analysis build number part here if you want you can also add some comments you can also add some tags here with your hyphen t part so i'll specify my build number or the analysis engine build number was let's say zero one or you can simply go with one as well it's your call i go with zero one this time after that part i'll add a tag as let's say diva hyphen beta hyphen analysis and just hit enter this will simply create a folder inside the existing directory and that particular folder will contain your report that was also available on your terminal. So we got a basic information about our application. We got the basic hash values here. We got the basic package name. We got the basic versions and minimum SDK as well as your target SDK similar to your MobSF there. On the other hand, we got some representation like this particular point was the critical one and the point was android debug mode checking like this particular application diva beta was it and was running in your debuggable mode which was specified inside your manifest file you can see debug equals to true here and it was specified inside your manifest file out there on the other hand we got one more critical weakness here as android manifest content provider exported it means one of the database was exported inside your manifest file right because we know all the components were declared inside your manifest file right and you can see this particular database jacker.assim.diva.notes provider was exported here after that part we got the basic warning as external storage was accessible and your particular line of codes like jacker assim diva insecure data storage for activity is using your external storage out there we got one more warning with the android manifest exported components checking like all the activities service providers as well as your broadcast receivers will be checked here like they were exported or not under here you can see we got two activities that were exported because the intent filters were defined for these two activities we have checked in our previous sessions as well and we know if the intent filters were defined it means that particular component was exported it can be called directly from any application as well as from your adb as well after that part we got the basic web view we got another warning for your web view element which was generally used to render your web pages but the warning here is for your local file access attack here it means with your web view element you can also access your local files because this was set to true here or not set to false which was by default running as true here if the set allow file access was set to true it means with your web view elements you can also 
browse your files out there we got the basic code here which contains your web view activity after that part we got another warning there we use simply web view potential accesses attack checking and we got another code here this time the same like input validation to uri scheme activity which says that javascript was enabled and if the javascripts were enabled user can directly inject their javascript queries and they will be executed inside your android application then we got another notice this time all the warnings were done here now we got basic notice and after notice part we got basic informational values right that were checked by the android bug framework here if you go with the first notice that we got here it means android manifest adb backup checking and adb backup is enabled it means your application can be backed up directly with your basic adb backup command after that part we simply check our database for a critical well known cve here the cve was 2021-3901 which will simply leak your database values and your application was secured from this particular critical vulnerability the simple notice represent that your application was checked for these different activities but it is considered as secure same thing happens for your informational part as well it means the application was checked for this particular weakness but it is secure from that part if the application was vulnerable if this application leaks any kind of data that will be available under your warning or your critical part here at the top if you want you can later analyze your report whenever you want the report will be saved inside your same existing directory then it will simply create a folder with the name reports and then save the report in a txt file for your later reference this was your basic android book framework have a good day and stay connected